Hey guys, Metal Stash here again, and this week I'm going to show you guys some, uh, or a custom model that I created. It is a, a basic unit, kind of a melee type unit, and I'm going to show you guys how I uh, imported it into Unity, and I actually have an animation on it, so the program I use to model it in is uh, Blender don't know if you guys have heard about it I mean it's just a free modeling program that you can get and of course I like free things and uh, unity makes it really easy to import things in from Blender so just show you guys the model I created it's a uh, spider type model just gonna be a basic melee type unit and I have actually two animations on it but my walking animation is kind of weird right now so I'm kind of trying to work on that to get it a little smoother because he just kind of he pauses after he uh, finishes his walk so I'm trying to figure out how to get that to look more fluid but his idle animation works pretty good uh, so this is the program you guys can use to uh, build things that you want custom in Unity because Unity doesn't offer uh, a lot of custom ability or customizing with models but you can easily create them in here and import them very easily uh, one way you can import them is by actually uh, importing the uh, going right clicking in the area and dang it, right clicking in the area and clicking on import new asset and from there you can actually import the blend blender file directly or what I did I exported that blender file as an FBX file and if you uh, export as an XBF or FBX well, I'm really getting that messed up I uh, you want to get rid of the rotation because I uh, in unity since the Y direction is actually up and Z direction is forward you have to rotate the model in this 90 degrees on the axis, X axis and with the FBX exporter you actually want to get rid of that and then I got rid of optimized keyframes and then just exported it directly from there and it saves all the animations and it works pretty good so how I got that to work actually let me show you what it looks like it's just a simple idle animation where they're kind of moving up and down. I don't have a moving one, and I also changed their speed for some reason. I think I was testing uh, how slow I could get a unit to move properly. So, I uh, how I constructed these to work with my scripts and all that, and to make it clean looking, because you could start making them pretty messy so the way I did it you just dr I dragged the uh, exported FBX model directly into the scene and from there I actually take out the uh, skinned mesh render and pull it out from the uh, spider thing that is dragged from the FBX and then I actually drag the armature and put it with that skinned mesh render and then you can just del just delete the spider itself and then from there you can actually just uh, add the required components to the uh, spider there so like uh, you know the mesh collider rigid body animations things like that you add to that and it'll start uh, it'll start doing all the stuff so it's pretty easy to do it was hard to figure out because I wasn't sure why some things weren't working and other things were and right now on my spider I just have the idle animation playing automatically uh, you know in the future I'm pr probably gonna have you know a couple different animations so I'll have to change like attacking or moving But that's uh, for right now it that I was able to get because I I haven't been able to work on this a, a whole lot because I've been uh, trying to get uh, my cauliflower ear uh, cleaned out 
and that's been a couple of days of me not being able to work on this but I uh, you know if you if you guys want me to go more in depth about how to do this I will um, because it can be a very hard thing to get uh, done and in this video I don't have you know I'm not gonna go into that I'm just kinda showing you guys uh, the new unit I have and I have a bunch of different ideas for units that are uh, completely original you know I I kinda take them from RTS's that I played so sometimes it's kinda hard not to take from them but I uh, you know I try to make them my own and put my own spin on things so thank you guys for watching and if you guys want to see more of my stuff uh, please subscribe and see you guys later